there, Rotten Lot. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today, we have on the board the Gokko Pazuzu. Now, Gokko did send us these pedals for us to play around with, and they have been a, uh, a lot of fun. Um, I've got the Telecaster on today going into the uh, Katana. Down in drop D. Because why not? That is how I sound. Beautiful, right, now there's a fair bit going on here. Uh, it is actually really cool. What I'm gonna do first is uh, bang the gain up at 12 o'clock, the tone at 12 o'clock, the volume at 12 o'clock. I'm gonna leave this attack knob. Now this is a clicky attack knob and it has different sort of um, EQ settings as you sort of turn it around and sort of emphasizes different uh, frequencies. We'll get into that a little bit later on. And it's got a gate, you can hear that noise from the tally. And turn the gate on, noise is gone. That's a great feature to have. I'm just gonna leave the gate on for the rest of the video because, you know, single coils. All right, this is how much gain it's got. That's me clean sound. Gain knob's pretty touchy. Gets angry very quickly. Sounds good on the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. Quite bluesy actually on the uh, neck pickup. Right, as for the tone knob. I like it just a little bit past one o'clock. Great sounding overdrive. Now I'm gonna go through this attack knob. Now this is not a standard knob, it's a clicky knob that sort of clicks into different positions. I'll see if you can hear it. Yeah. So the position I've had it on is has seems to have the most bass in it. And as you click it through, it seems to get more and more midi and upper mids. So you can hear there it's really emphasizing the upper frequencies. And a lot of the bottom end has drifted out of it. Now, 
You might think to yourself, oh, it doesn't sound very good, but I assure you, if you're stepping on this to do a solo, uh, it's going to slice right through the mix. So if you're using it as a solo boost, it's going to be a really uh, useful tool on your pedal board, I reckon. I've had it on the bassiest one, but I've got it on one up from the bassy one now, which I think, you know... That is a rock tone, I tell all the way up now. So it gives you that sort of, with the, the clicky knob all the way up, the attack knob clicked all the way up. It's sort of more fendery, sparkly. I've got the gain down a fair way. That's a great chimey sort of tone. That's the middle position now, so that's sort of halfway right in between everything. I've still got the volume all the way up. I'll probably bring that back a bit now. A little bit more gain. That's a great sounding pedal. All right, there you go. I'm pretty sure that's just about it. That's pretty much all I've got to show you. So it's got a fair bit of volume in there. It's got a fair bit of gain in there. The tone stack works nicely. The attack clicky knob, or I think that's, well, I don't think it's a rotary encoder. I'm not sure what they call it. I just call it a clicky knob. That gives you a lot of different tonal options with more bass, less bass, more highs, less highs. I think that's a really nice touch. And uh, to add the uh, noise gate in there as well is, you know, pretty good idea. So well done, uh, Gokko. This is the Gokko Pazuzu. I um, hope I'm saying that right. Pazuzu. Uh, it is a uh, cracking, uh, very affordable uh, little overdrive, which... Uh, you know, would uh, look pretty good on anyone's pedal board, I reckon. So uh, thank you, uh, Gokko, for sending us these to play around with. Me. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, um, if you've got this far, give us a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, any of that sort of stuff really helps the channel out, and it's absolutely free to you. So uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.